Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another episode of Shook Unscripted, and I am super excited. Y'all know what they say, when it rains, it pours, and this week in Girl World has been nothing short of earth shattering. I mean, oh my goodness, did you guys see that new episode from Destiny that she put out last night? Not the one she put up yesterday. This was her biggest bombshell yet, and then we're also, first, I did want to talk about Foodie Beauty as well and do an update on what she has been doing. Things don't look so great. This is a complete mess what I have seen in regards to her apartment building. So we'll go ahead and start there. All that and more coming up on today's Unscripted. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shallowy. But first, as always, I like to do a little taste test. <laughs> I'm a troll. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, I am. A little bit. Never hurt anybody. So this is the white chocolate macadamia crumble. I've never tried this yet. Of course, it's from Starbucks. You guys know me, basic AF. Oh my God. Good thing I have some Chipotle napkins. Let's go ahead and start off with this luxury fart box drama. We did touch upon this on my Sunday night live stream. We talked about how somebody went onto Google Maps and renamed the new building that Chantal and Salah uh, just moved into, the one with the windows, the beachfront property or beachside or oceanside or whatever you want to call it property, the new one with the strange looking kitchen. Let's just keep going. Someone went to Google Maps and renamed it luxury fart box. And this was just like this whole situation whatever, whatever. I couldn't even really be bothered at the end of the day about this luxury fart box, but it gets even worse because now people have taken it upon themselves to go onto Google and actually submit reviews for this building. So this is an apartment building, which means it's a business, which means uh, you can leave Google reviews and people from the Chantal universe, haters, lovers, whatever you want to call them, have taken it upon themselves to review this place. And that's not even it, guys. This has finally caught the attention of the owner of this building. Now, I believe that they got the luxury fart box removed. Um, <laughs> it just sounds so ridiculous, doesn't it? So I'm just going to go ahead and um, get rid of the name of the actual building. But just so you guys know, it is no longer called the luxury fart box. This is what someone named Lillian, obviously someone who doesn't live there. They wrote, wonderful place. They allow unmarried couples to live together. Our friends Salah and Chantal recommended as they're not married and can rent here in Shala. So that has been the gist of many of the recent reviews. People are trying to get the attention of this business owner to let them know that Salah and Chantal are not married. Now, who knows? They could have some sort of sketchy marriage uh, certificate. As far as Chantal wants us to believe, they are married, but of course many people don't believe that they're married. The business owner responded, units for family only, contact business office with more information, question mark. So I'm assuming that this business owner, um, the person that is renting them this uh, space, this apartment in this building, they definitely had to check the marriage certificate because people in Kuwait are not allowed to live together without a marriage certificate. And they're not just, well, men and women, right? And so they had to actually look at this certificate and that is kind of the best proof that Chantal has. Of course, she's unwilling to show it. Now, do I think this whole situation is ridiculous? Sure, but I can't even really be asked to care that much anymore. I mean, Chantal's the one that kind of started this whole situation because we did talk about the privacy strikes. Remember, she talked about garlic bread showing like a pin on a map. None of the streets were actually labeled on the map where he showed the pin, but realistically, you could figure it out. So she was upset with that. She submitted a privacy complaint to him, as well as another channel that um, tagged me on Twitter and let me know that they were struck as well. And of course, we know Chantal never learns her lesson. She showed every little bit of this place. And that's the reason why people know exactly where she lives, because she's the one that showed it on the internet. And I think that the reason this is all happening is because of the strikes, because she threatened the strikes, because she has brought so much attention to it. Whenever you are going around like submitting false strikes, or even if they are genuine strikes, I find that this situation causes the trolls to come out of the woodwork and start doing their thing. And that is exactly what's happening here. Don't draw attention to these situations, but that's Chantal for you. She always ends up in this circus. She's the ringmaster, right? Well, no, I, she's one of the clowns. When you type this into Google and look at the reviews, 
There are now pictures alongside the reviews and someone decided to Photoshop Chantal pre-modest era, I suppose, C Canadian Chantal, next to the building. Um, there's some rather, rather interesting pictures. This one right here I'm looking at, I can't even show it to you guys because it is so lewd, but it's actually a picture of Chantal in her abaya, in her outfit that she nor normally wears these days. And then behind her is pictures of her in the bathtub that she actually posted on her OF page back in 2021, 2022, somewhere around there. And so now I believe that the owner of this building, uh, they did catch wind about the name change and they did take it upon themselves to change that back. I wonder if they are seeing this picture. Of course, they have a contract with Salah and Chantal. I don't know if they met up with the owner of this building. It could be that there was agents available you know it doesn't have to be the owner that actually showed them that actually showed them this place so he or she may be unaware of who they actually are but this does not look good i mean this is absolutely humiliating this picture of her here's another review there's a couple living there pretending to be married the woman is on a visitor visa from canada trying to evade her taxes there's a very strong nauseating scent of rotted fish coming from her unit i often hear salah whimpering like a child and chantal moaning every five minutes the mukbang and at times commanding him to get more food. I'm concerned about what is going on in the unit. So Chantal has found herself in a really ridiculous situation. Like I said, this is absolutely humiliating. I don't know if there's going to be any sort of repercussions for her. I just feel like the, the owner, the agent, the person that showed her this apartment, whether or not they're the same person, doesn't really matter. But they must be so entirely confused because, I mean, even when you go to the United States and try to tell people about like oh I'm being followed by trolls or you know there's trolls following me <laughs> remember that situation with truthfully Trisha she said that there were trolls and the police thought that she was seeing things like actual trolls so how is Chantal responding to this situation well it doesn't seem that she is I mean she came on in that live stream we already talked about saying that she was going to be doing privacy strikes and that is what she did but when it came to these reviews or the pictures that are being posted she has has not responded yet. Now she has posted a couple of videos about 23 hours ago. She posted grilled cheese and homemade creamy tomato soup. I noped out after about 10 minutes. This was one of the most boring videos I have ever seen on YouTube. She even forgot to put any music in the beginning of the video in the cooking part. So it was kind of almost haunting in a way and then she also put up couple wimpy mukbang in kuwait i guess there's a restaurant called wimpy it was in the uk there used to be more in the u.s but now there's not really any in the u.s let me know if you guys have a wimpy anywhere near you or if you've ever tried it but she actually did a mukbang with salah so that's something that's kind of interesting although i also noped out of that one as well because i just couldn't be asked to sit through the whole 15 minutes i mean they're sitting in the car eating food the, the change of scenery is definitely welcomed having salah there to check out their body language is also welcomed but uh it's a sad state of affairs it really is as per usual, the drama surrounding our girls is much more interesting than their actual content. I mean, remember back in the day, I used to do like a reaction video every single day. That's kind of how I started my channel, but really things needed a change and that's kind of how girl talk came to be so thank you guys for sticking around with me make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video if you are enjoying it and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the amber lynn and destiny situation this is probably the most wild one. I mean, we kept saying that we said that yesterday because Destiny came on and exposed that Amberlynn never showered and she was constantly fighting with her ex-girlfriend's moms or her girlfriend's at the time's moms. And that was just this whole weird situation. But Destiny came on again to do part two of 2016. How long is she gonna drag this out? I will be here with my popcorn. But she actually discusses a DV situation that happened 
happened in her relationship with Amber. Destiny was going to go see her mom. This is when they were living together in that apartment. And Amber Lynn blocked the door and said that she was going to hurt herself if Destiny leaved. I believe like a very similar situation happened between her and Becky. I don't have any proof of that, but I just, I do see this as a pattern from Amber. It is very manipulative. It is very narcissistic. And then after they argued, Amber gave her all of those gifts, the famous Christmas gifts. I believe that's what Destiny was talking about, but the manipulation is just over the charts. And I do feel like Amber has used her money to leverage power over the years, over the people in her relationship. Now, it might be different with Wifey because we know that she is able to take care of herself. As far as we know, she bought herself that Mazda. Amber Lynn didn't chip in as far as we know. I mean, that's what they claim. What do we really know? It could be that this relationship with Wifey is very similar to Becky. We don't know much of anything about their real relationship. Destiny also talks about a fight that Amber had with her mom where Destiny's mom hit her over the head with a K-cup holder because they got into some argument. It was one of those situations where a small thing turned into a huge thing. Amber and Destiny were doing this government job and Amber was actually saying that she might not take it because she wants to focus on YouTube. And then the mom started saying, well, you're not going to lose any weight if you stay at home doing YouTube all day. This is good for you to get out of the house. You can work on your YouTube after work. But Amber, I guess, didn't want to hear that and this escalated into this DV situation. It does feel like maybe Amber and the mom were alike. You know how like two people get together that have these anger issues and it just turns into a brawl. Any little tiny thing, a narcissist can take that and blow it up into this big fight if that's what they want to do. It, it almost feels like sometimes people want to fight over something so they just take a little minor disagreement that you don't even really care about. I had this happen to me like in a friendship before. Destiny also clarifies that Amber did eat the 20-piece McNugget, the famous 20-piece McNugget. I think that was the tea we've all been actually waiting for. But yeah, back to the situation with the door. So supposedly Destiny wanted to go see her mom. Amber was blocking the door and she threatened hurting herself, right? Very classic narcissistic behavior, right? But I do think, and I have seen this comment from a couple of people, we should take the things Destiny says with a hint of skepticism because she has not provided any proof. This is just her account and it has been several, several years. So I'm not defending Amberlynn's behavior. I'm just saying that things can get twisted in your mind and maybe she believes this to be the truth. I'm just saying we shouldn't trust Destiny a hundred percent. Enjoy the tea for what it is, but it's clear as day that she's using this to build her channel and make a splash on YouTube. And those aren't really the purest of intentions. But regardless, I am enjoying Destiny's series, right? I wanted to take a look at this clapback from Amber on Instagram because it seems as though she is very upset about this situation with Destiny, especially these last two videos where things kind of got real. That first video, people were like, this is just dumb. But these last two videos did not portray Amber in the best light. Maybe Amber saw that first video and she was like, oh, well, whatever. And now that these more intense videos have come out, she's upset. So here's what Amber is saying, clapping back on Instagram. Are you watching Destiny? Has she lied in the tea videos? And Amberlyn states that yes, she has lied. She goes on to clarify what she means by that. There's no way I'm getting into it on Instagram. As much as it hurts, I internally struggle with accepting that she's even doing this, but I accepted it if she was only going to tell the truth and I was going to leave it be. But her new video tonight shows that her memory is either fucked or she's flat out lying and knows it. I'm honestly disgusted. So the crap is definitely hitting the fan. Someone asked Amber, did you really hit Destiny's mom? I'm in shock, to be honest. No, I did not. I'm effing shocked she would say that after all the time her and I talked about that incident, even while just friends. It literally makes me sick to my stomach that she lie about that and knowing people will believe anything that gaslighting cheater says. It just got real. At this point, I'm pissed because she's not telling her side. She's literally just lying and that's not right. So what do you guys think about this situation? I do have to say it kind of reminds me of Foodie Beauty. Like she just says it's all a lie instead of telling us. Here she does say that the her hitting her mom was a lie, but she doesn't really go into detail about any of the other supposed lies. Same thing with Foodie Beauty. She'll just call someone a liar. That's all a lie. 
Missy Moo, right? But she won't say particularly what is a lie. Sorry, Amber, I shouldn't have doubted you. The video was awful. This whole thing just effing hurts. When she no longer needed my money, this is what she does. She's the very reason I'll forever have trust issues. So do you guys think that Destiny actually took advantage of Amber when it came to money? I don't think that either of these two are innocent. I don't think that anyone really does. And mess happens in relationships all the time. Destiny said you have no respect for anyone. At this point, I might have to make my own video or should I make 47 parts to milk it for all it's worth like my ex is? I do think that Amber, if she has a side of this story that she wants to tell, she should release her part. I would love to hear it from her. I don't think that many people are going to believe it because of her reputation as a liar, but she will be successful in planting a bit of doubt about these situations if that's what she wants to do. I believe you 100%. Don't silence yourself anymore. You don't deserve this. I just didn't want to do this. I don't want this BS on my channel. I'm trying so hard to improve my life, but for an ex who used to call me money bags and get pissed when I couldn't give her money to be flat out lying about me, makes me want to rage. No joke. Girl, let it out. Turn on that live stream and just let it out. Okay, that's the worst advice ever. <laughs> but T T T T T. Her sharing things like the shower stuff is her trying to hurt me because how the F is that her story, it's not, it's mine, just proves her intentions are in a bad place. She's gross and needs to stop being so obsessed with me. Oh my goodness. Well, when it comes to Destiny's kind of claim to fame here on YouTube, we know that she is always going to be associated with Amberlynn no matter how many years pass. That's how people know her in this corner of the internet or just on the internet at all, unless it's her family and friends from in real life. So don't give in and play into it. Destiny wants you to rage and come back at her for views and money, but her flat out lying isn't cool. The things she's honest about is from almost a decade ago when I was in my early 20s and people can't seem to figure out how to separate that Amberlynn with this Amberlynn. Well, here's the thing. It's the same Amberlynn. Do I think that it was many, many years ago? Yeah, we're talking about 2016. That was seven years ago. Destiny is obsessed with me, even admitting to watching reaction channels about me every day is effing creepy and all this came out of nowhere. I was accepting it for what it was till the lies began. People who love and support you will believe you and you deserve to share your story with them. Don't be silenced. I'm just really hurt and confused right now. I made a lot of progress in who I am as a person and having this cheating liar trigger memories for me is causing massive anxiety on my end. So I think I'm going to call it a night and get some sleep. It seems like Amber did hit the hay, but then when she woke up, she got right back to answering questions on Instagram, specifically about Destiny, when someone brings up the fact that she threatened to unalive herself standing in the door, trying to get her to not go to her mom's and stay with her. Amber says that lie will be addressed. I've never threatened that a day in my life. Why should we believe you over Destiny when you have a history of lying? I've lied about my weight and work hours one time in 2016 to protect myself from hate. Destiny is a known cheater and liar who drips in betrayal. Consider the bigger picture. Yikes. So we do know that Destiny has admitted to cheating. She would talk to these other women behind her girlfriend's back, and that is lying. I don't think that either of these two are innocent by any stretch of the imagination. So I don't know, grain of salt bees. I do think that there is a hint of truth to everything that she is saying. Take for example, the shower comment from the last video. It was actually talked about several years ago that this is what was going on. People were complaining about the smell and begging Amber to take a shower. Although that's not really the most important thing here. Before Destiny's videos, did you consider y'all to be on good terms? Do you feel blindsided? Amber says, I'm blindsided, yes. Once I told her I can't keep giving her money and helping her, we stopped talking. So that's interesting. That's pretty damning on Destiny's part. She was using me, now she's using me again, but in a different way. So it seems as though Amber kind of cut Destiny off. She says that Destiny would have referred to her as money bags. But if Amberlyn is to be believed, once she said, I bet you wifey stepped in and said, you're not giving that girl any more money. What do you guys think? I'd be Becky. I don't think she would put her foot down in that situation. Wifey, even though I don't know her at all, 
I could see her putting her foot down in that situation and saying, no, no more. You're not giving this woman money. You haven't even, you were only together for two years, like five, six years ago. No, this isn't happening. This is our money. So I could see that, you know, this was a real relationship in real life. This wasn't some sort of online beef. So of course I understand why Amber Lynn is upset, but you were claiming for years that Destiny didn't cheat on you slash didn't use you for money. Now this is so true. Remember she refused to tell people that Destiny cheated on her when she knew in her heart of hearts that Destiny did cheat. We all know why. She didn't want people to make fun of her. She didn't want to be humiliated with people knowing that Destiny was talking to Dana behind her back and emotionally cheating, which is why Amber would always say, you know, maybe she emotionally cheated, but she didn't physically cheat with Dana. She probably did both. Let's be real here. Correct, because I didn't want to betray her. I didn't want to spill tea or air personal details like that. Now are people understanding where I'm coming from? I was loyal to her, literally always loyal to her, and this is how I'm treated in return. It hurts. So that is true. Amber has denied people saying that that Destiny used her for money and cheated on her. Remember the wedding gift debacle? That was freaking hilarious. When someone in Amber's live stream asked her if she was going to go to Dana and Destiny's wedding and was she going to get them a gift? And Amber Lynn says, I've given them enough. And I believe she said she was going to get them a cleaning tool or something. The wedding never happened. So Amber has thrown shade at Destiny over the years, but nothing to the extent of what Destiny is doing. Let's just be real here. So what do you guys think about Destiny's newest 2016 part two video, as well as Amber Lynn's clap back on Instagram? I tend to believe the things that Destiny is saying just because it does make a lot of sense. And we do know that Amber has been controlling in her relationships over the years. But I would also love to hear Amber Lynn's side of this story and her defense of these allegations. But also at the end of the day, this was so long ago. And me, like in 2016, I was disgusting. But we did still see shades of this behavior with Becky. But I also think that her relationship with Destiny was probably the most toxic. I mean, they would fight every single day or so Destiny claims. While her and Becky, I feel like Becky just rolled over. She didn't want everything to become this giant fight. And so she would just appease Amber in whatever way that she can. Wifey, it's hard for me again to really know the dynamics of their relationship because it seems cute and quirky and fun on the YouTube, but so did her and Destiny. So we have no idea what's going on between her and wifey behind the scenes. It does seem to be a little bit healthier than any of her previous relationships though. And maybe that's because she keeps it off the internet. What do you guys think? Her and wifey. I just don't see that being like extremely toxic. Maybe just like a little bit toxic. I'm a little bit toxic too. Okay guys, one last update. Amberlynn just posted this. As much as I want to share my side and call Destiny out on her lies, I can't. I have made way too much progress in therapy and over the years just changing and growing as a person to ever involve myself in this kind of drama again. I'm hurt, yes. She has used me, lied cheated, betrayed me, and is now maliciously spreading a narrative. I don't want part of this. I can't do this. I won't do it. I've worked too hard. I'd rather look bad than interfere with the progress I've made regarding all she put me through and now is continuing to do so. It's not worth it. Believe her. I don't care anymore. Oof. So it looks like now she is kind of throwing this pity party. Maybe she cannot defend herself from the things that Destiny said. That's just kind of what it feels like. She feels defeated in this situation and she can't really defend herself because Destiny's telling the truth? Question mark. <laughs> to those who support me, I love you so much and I'll continue posting regular content. I'm going to keep shining and a cheating ex isn't going to dull that shine. So what do you guys think about that last post from Amber? It almost feels like a defeat. She did just say like an hour ago on Instagram that she was going to release a video that was going to be her side of the story. Does she have no way of defending herself? I don't know. I would like to hear maybe from wifey, like wifey clap back at Becky. Why isn't wifey clapping back at Destiny? Come on, wifey, get your girl. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Shook Unscripted. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. All right, bye, guys.